Alright guys, today I'm going to show you just how to do a real quick adding and removing automation tutorial. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do specific effects because that takes time and there's tons of different ways to get the same sound using different filters or different types of automation. So I'm just going to show you how to add or remove them um, and we'll start with that. So I just put a basic track in here. I'm just going to record something on top of it just so we have something to do automation on top of. That's basically all I'm going to do because I'm not going to use specific effects. I'm just going to show you how. So we've got a track. You click the automation button right here. And it drops. It opens up this and it shows you um, the place where you add, add and remove your nodes and change them and then your options as far as what you can do for automation. Now your options here, if you click on the volume, you get this option box. Um, it, it all depends on how many different inserts you have and what different synthesizers you're using. As far as the ES2 has a bunch of options because it's got so many editable features, which is nice but also confusing because some of these things I honestly have no idea. But there's all kinds of good stuff there. Uh, your other option My mouse will work. Um, is to use these right here. These would be my inserts, as you can see on the other side: compression, EQ, ensemble, stereo delay. They're right here. So let's go to the compressor. Let's add. Let's compressor gain. So right now it's six uh, six dB, which if you click on the compressor itself, is what it's set at right here. The gain. So that's going to be your default setting of whatever you're trying to edit. If you just click, it adds your node at 6 dB because that's the first level. And you can just click and drag them to where you want. So that's how you add that automation in. Um, that's going to be a compressor gain, as it says right here. Now, the easiest way to get rid of that is splat Z or undo. Just undo those. And boom, you're done. Um, but let's say you've you know you've done this one and then let's you know we add an EQ high cut frequency we've added one of these and now you want to get rid of the gain automation the easiest way to do that is go back to it right here then you go to track track automation delete visible automation on selected track and that'll take off your compression gain, but it'll still leave your high qu cut frequency intact. Now let's say we add some more stuff. Um, like this. And, and you know, maybe we have five or six different automations on this track. And we just don't like it. We want to get back to the basic track and start over. Instead of selecting each track and deleting it or hitting splat Z a ton of times and go to track automation delete all automation and click OK click delete removes all the automation um, that's basically it in this track automation uh, selection there's a lot of options here and like I said really getting the sound you want just depends on what you're going for um, again check out my song Gated Express and see how I use a filter but uh, thanks for watching